Hey, what is going on? I'm Daniel from today's iPhone.com, and today I'm going to be showing you some of the lesser known features of iOS 5. So, the first one I'm going to start off with is in Safari, and it is private browsing. So, what you're going to go is you're going to go to Safari. And right there you can see the switch and you can turn it on and then your phone will not keep history and so you, then you can turn it off. So, um, you know, that's a good feature for, you know, whoever, whoever would use it. So if that's your thing, then that's where you want to, that's where you're going to go to find it. Another cool feature in settings is, um, with the notification center, which is when you pull down here how you have notifications, you can adjust um, how they are displayed. So you go to notifications and you can set by time, which is what I have, so the the, the uh, nearest ones come up first. So the, this one happened at 11, so it comes up first and then, you know, they will go down. But you can also do it by manually and if you do that, um, it's going to do whatever the order is here. So if you hit edit, you can rearrange the order. So let's say your phones are your most important you can put it up top and the phone will always be first and then you could do uh, messages and then you know whatever but I like to have my widgets up top and then phone and messages and mail and Facebook but you can have them however you would like and you can rearrange it to your heart's desire so here's another feature in camera if you would like to get to your photos you can just swipe to the left and your photos appear and there's me with an angry bird Bam, an angry bird. And then you can just go back and you're back at your camera. That's an awesome feature. So here's another new feature. If you go to settings and then you go to a, no, nope, not sound, sorry. General is what I'm looking for. There we are. And then you're going to scroll down to keyboards. You can add shortcuts, which are kind of like right here on my way. You type in OMW and it puts it on my way. So you can add new ones like the phrase, um, I'm making a video. And I can say, I be. I've, so now if I go to text someone and I type in IV, it puts in, I'm making a video, which is pretty cool. And you can do that as much as you want. So here's another cool one that you can do. If you go down to general again, and then go down to accessibility, you can turn on, which I have turned on, custom vibrations. Now you can assign custom vibration to everyone by going to your sounds, and also you can do um, for one person by going into contacts. Like if you want, you know, your mom to be like a three vibrate, you know, like zzz, zzz, then you can do that. So first I'm going to show you how to do it for everyone. So you turn that on, and then you're going to go down to sounds, and you go down to vibration and you can select from different ones. You can select heartbeat. Obviously, obviously there's the alert, which is what we're all used to when you get a call. Then there's rapid. Then SOS. And then there's symphony. Okay. And then you can create a new one by just doing like this. Boom, 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 boom. See? There you go. And you could save it and set it as your new vibration. So we'll call it Beast. And save it. And so now you can have Beast. There you go. And that's for everyone. Now if I would like to set an individual contact, I'm going to go to my contacts. I'm going to click on Beast here. And as you can tell, it's a fake thing, so don't call them. And hit Edit. And I'm, I can assign a custom ringtone and also a custom vibration to them. So if I want to make it Beast, or I can create a new one right here so we can do Boop, 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 boop. There you go. Shaving a haircut, five cents. Save that as H. And there you go. Now when Mr. Beast calls me, I will get that.
All right, I'm Daniel from today's iPhone. These are just a few of some of the lesser known features. I'll probably make another video and probably even some more as more betas come out. I'm still running the first beta of iOS 5 and everything's looking pretty good so far. So come to today's iPhone.com for much, much more. You can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash TIP underscore Daniel. And look at that. Twitter has been moved to the home page now. So, you know, I don't know what that means, but it means something. All right, bye.